What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Friday. Um, before I get into talking about Impact Wrestling, I want to point out that the return of John Moxley, as well as Cody coming back, drew a viewership of 1.032 million viewers for Dynamite on Wednesday night. Supposedly, it was the number one cable show on that night. You know, I don't know for sure, but Moxley opened the show with a great promo. But anyway, let's talk about Impact Wrestling and them teaming up with Ring of Honor Wrestling. Now, Ring of Honor is supposed to reemerge in April. Now, the wonder is, does Impact and Ring of Honor still uh, do things together uh, after Ring of Honor uh, restarts because right now I, I sort of like what they're doing in many, many aspects. Uh, we saw Deanna Perrazzo beat Roxy last week and become the new Ring of Honor champion. Uh, the Ring of Honor men's champion, Jonathan, Jonathan Gresham, uh, this past week wrestled Steve Macklin. Um, obviously, you know, Gresham retained. And then, of course, the five members uh, of Ring of Honor that have invaded uh, Impact Wrestling and uh, continue to come in and do beatdowns towards the end of the show after the matches are already done. Uh, as they did this past week when Josh Alexander defeated Charlie Haas, they came out and went after Alexander and Haas. And then we saw Willie Mack come out. We saw Rich Swan come out. We saw Heath Slater and a Rhino come out. And then Taven, Bennett, and company Maria, they all retreated back to the balcony. And then after the fact, we saw Eddie Edwards come out with the kendo stick and stood at the ring post on the ropes, pointing up to them, telling them to get into the ring. Now, one has to wonder, Eddie always seems to come out after the beatdown is done. We've actually never seen Eddie Edwards get beat down backstage. Um, Eddie, being a former Ring of Honor personality, is it possible Edwards joins the Ring of Honor 5? You know, you, you have to wonder. I, I do like what they're doing. And then next week, we're going to see... Uh, with the tapings that were set today down in Florida, we'll, we'll see Jay White come back from New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm sure we'll probably see El Fantasmo return. Uh, Hikaleo come back. Uh, so with all of it gelling together, it makes it for a good mix. I really do like where Impact Wrestling's going. As I said in my last video about Scott and Moore, um, this is this collaboration of Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling is so much different from the AEW and Impact because it was so one sided. It was all AEW. Um, you know, Omega would go to Impact Wrestling when he won the Impact belt as well. Christian did uh, as well. But you never saw, except for the Good Brothers, you never saw anybody on AEW. And th that's what I'm saying. This is totally different. I love the Ring of Honor New Japan mixture with Impact Wrestling. This year... 
Impact Wrestling is getting better and better and better. And uh, now they're doing uh, tapings twice a month instead of doing it once a month where they have so many weeks ahead. Now they're doing it twice a month. And they're traveling to a bunch of different cities now. Like I said, they're going to be in Florida uh, today and tomorrow for tapings. And, and they're advertising Rebellion already. And that's not till April 23rd. So Impact is really getting it going. Uh, they, they haven't done this in a long time. And this really, since the end of last year and the start of this year, they're really starting to motivate their fans. I'm loving it. I really am. And, you know, now you have to wonder when you see W. Morrissey come out, he's almost like gesturing as trying to be a face. Will he turn face? One has to wonder about that, too. How long will Moose hold on to the Impact Wrestling title? When will Mickey James lose the knockouts title. I'm actually surprised Mickey James has been there as long as she has. I, I thought maybe it was just going to be for a short stint, but I guess not. So, uh, and then the good brothers, they've got to lose the impact wrestling titles. And what would be so cool is if Bennett and Taven, take the belts away from them. So again, great stuff by Impact Wrestling and their collaboration with Ring of Honor and New Japan has made the shows so much more interesting and I like where they're going and I'll be sad if after Ring of Honor restarts that this uh, merger, so to speak, is over. I'm hoping not, but one has to wonder, and we'll have to wait and see. So that's it for now. The Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Peace out, everybody. See you all next time.